You haven't seen us in a few days. Yeah. It's been two days since I've gotten a vlog up. Yes, it has. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning, Box. Good morning, Box. How are you today? Good, I'm glad to hear that. I hope you're doing well. If not, I'm sorry to hear about that, but I hope this vlog cheers you up. You haven't seen us in a few days. Yeah. It's been two days since I've gotten a vlog up. Yes, it has, for a couple of reasons. Um, for starters, I need to call our internet service provider. I've had so much trouble with the internet lately. Um, and it's actually, I've noticed it on my game console as well. Um, we actually have really, really bad, like, I don't know what's it going on. It just keeps cutting out, like, all the time, so. And so I don't know if they're throttling us or what's happening, so I need to give them a call and figure out why in the world it's so slow, because it was not that slow. And then it suddenly became slow. So that's a problem. Yes. So a part of it is internet related. Part of it is other things. But um, I have also not been waking up early. Actually, since the fall, I haven't been waking up early to go to Starbucks in the morning. Um, and so this is what happens. Because I, those of you who wonder, why do I go to Starbucks? It's because I actually get stuff done there. And so I haven't really done much editing um, as quickly as I should be. So... Um, that being said, we do have something that we want to announce, and that is that... You're not in trouble. Don't worry. No one's in trouble. Nobody's in trouble. But the... We are taking a little bit, a little break, a week break. Calm down. Some of you are freaking out. Calm down. It's okay. It's just a week. Um, this coming week is going to be particularly rough for us, um, and the past few weeks have been kind of rough for us. It, it's been really hard. So Ken's been doing um, weekend school, if you right. guys haven't watched every single daily vlog. Um, Ken's been working weekends and working very, very, very late. So that pretty much puts me out, like tonight I'm going to be out, I'm just going to be working, and I didn't get home till like 7. So and... most days we don't even really see each other. Right. Which honestly makes vlogging a little bit difficult, because when you're not having a conversation... <laughs> it's like, here's this thing that's, here, here's a soda... Yeah, especially, especially for you because it's like you're literally doing the same thing every single time. Yeah, yeah. So um, we love you very, very much. And there is no like personal reason behind this. I know sometimes vloggers take breaks and there's none, none of that going on. This is literally we are so busy separately and vlogs we know are just going to be terrible and just super stressful for us honestly so. i've been feeling really bad about the vlogs lately like yeah. i don't feel good lately physically i don't feel good i feel very pregnant and um i feel like i haven't given you guys the amount of attention that you should maybe get mm -hmm. so um we're gonna take a little break it's been 530 some days and um we have taken one day off here and there but we're actually not going to have, like, little clips of anything. Like we're going to go on vacation. Yeah. Um, next... There will still be videos on the other channels, possibly. Right. That's the other reason. I have a ton of videos filmed that I haven't gotten around to editing, that I haven't gotten around to uploading and, and, and all of that stuff. Um, so those should show up at some point, maybe. Um, next Thursday... I have, in Tucson, we have something called Rodeo, uh, which is a real big thing culturally here, which means apparently. that, apparently, yeah, it's not in, big in Phoenix, where we're from, so it was a nice, pleasant surprise when we got here. I get those days off. So, next Thursday and next Friday, I have off, and so we'll pick it up again next Thursday, because I'll be Which is perfect timing, because <laughs> uh, next Thursday, I have a midwife appointment, and then the next day is Rosalind's birthday. Right. So that's the big announcement. I hope that you guys can be understanding. I we really really appreciate you. I just feel like I haven't given you guys enough attention lately. Even um, I feel that way. Yeah, I and so <laughs> we just want to just take a moment to just kind of take a break, you know. So that being said, um, so we if, did, you're, if you're not subscribed to us, you should subscribe so you know when we pop so up. So you know when we will come back. Or yeah. just mark it on your calendar because we're going to come back next Thursday. That works too. Either way, it's your call. So that being said, we told you guys like a million years ago that we were going to answer, it was a month ago actually, that we were going to answer some Q&A videos. So, or, yeah, so I actually filmed a Frequently Asked Questions video for my channel. Okay. That'll show up maybe eventually. Okay. Um, but some people had... Like why we call them Bach? Yes. <laughs> yes. Why, these are questions that will show up on that. Why do you call them Bachs? 
Um, why does Heidi go to Starbucks in the morning? Questions that regular viewers probably know the answers to. Um, why do you say this is why I brought you here? Technically, we brought ourselves here, which is true. That's the question that sparked the whole thing. Um, I'm trying to think what you other questions. You don't say that for this channel, though, do you? No, it's on the other channel. Oh, okay, okay. It's going to be on the other channel. Okay. So. Anyways, you can watch that video when it comes up. But let's get into uh, some of the questions that people asked in that video forever ago. Give me a question. I see one. From? Anne o O'Halloran? Yes. Um, does Rosalind go to kindergarten slash playgroup? If not, when is she likely to start? So I did do a video about preschool. Um, she is going to hopefully be going to preschool at the end of this summer. I was actually trying to get her in at as soon as she turned three, but I guess preschool works on like a normal school schedule. So um, whether or not she goes and when she goes and all of that is going to depend on the district that we end up living in because... Yeah. Um, some it's districts different. in Arizona offer preschool and some don't, and we cannot afford to pay for it privately. When we plant, when we move this summer, are we going to vlog the outside of our house on moving day? Nope. Nope. We're not. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> we're super careful about where we live, and I, I don't want you guys to know that. Um, someone also asked, um, Heidi, are the midwives still monitoring your thyroid closely? Because in that video, I was complaining about being tired, too. Um, yes, they are. They draw my blood every four weeks. At, actually, more regularly. They draw it at every appointment. So, Although right now, I do not feel good about... I think my iron is still out of control or something. And I don't feel like my thyroid... She's been really tired lately. Yeah, which is part of the reason why I've been neglecting you guys. Uh, Brandy Taylor asked, uh, What is our favorite activity to do with Rosalind? What's your favorite activity? Um, dinosaur. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, just the like growling and running after her. Yeah. Today we did uh, some arts and crafts. We painted a little bit, and I need to do more of those kinds of things because she really, really enjoys she it. She latch on it. And then she asks for it for like weeks. And I'm like, I, I should do this. I should like go be the Pinterest mom because every time I do, I like it. Um. You could start calling it quiet time. Yeah, so someone mentioned, because I was complaining about Rosalind's sleep, that we could start doing quiet time. That's what we've been doing. It's been working out really, really well. Next time we should tell them to label it Q&A and then do Control F. <laughs> yeah. When is baby due? Baby is due April 4th. And what's her name? Um, you guys know that already. It's Irene Eleanor. Um, my, my question for one take is, do you like Call of Duty games or Lego games or Game of Thrones? I... I'm sorry, but I'm not a Call of Duty person. I'm sorry, I know, I know, but uh, wait, it's is Game of Thrones a game too, or is it just the sh the book and the show? I think it's three separate questions in one. Okay. So Call of Duty, I'm I'm a Halo person. That's where I stand. And Destiny. Actually. You play Call of Duty occasionally. Very, very rarely. We actually don't own any of the Lego games, but when Rosin's a little bit older. We will probably get those because they're very, very kid friendly, and there's. there's we a got lot of... some for your cousin this year for yeah. Christmas. We got him the Jurassic Park one. He loved that one. <laughs> uh huh. And then uh, Game of Thrones, I do not follow. I we know watched, it's a really big thing. We but... watched it. I really like the storyline, but I can't watch it. It's just too inappropriate. X rated. <laughs> yeah, I actually I, I was reading the book like five years ago, and I really did enjoy the book because that was a little bit easier to kind of. Skip over some of those parts, but... Oh, I see another one. Uh, Big 33 Bug asks, Hi, Dean Ken, what are your favorite books and or favorite music genres? Well, I was just talking about Game of Thrones. Is that your favorite book? It is not my favorite <laughs> book. Um, I really... Right now, I really like nonfiction books about pregnancy, which is super duper boring. But if we're going to talk fiction, I like Lord of the Rings. I like Harry Potter. We like, like, those fantasy... Nerdy, exactly the books you would expect us to like, pretty much. I'm really good about reading a book once and then never again. Um, the only there's only been a few books I've read repeatedly, and one of them is actually Jurassic Park and the Lost World by Michael Crichton. So both those two books are probably my favorite books. And music genre, I'm all over the place. I listened to K-pop the other day, that was great, and then I followed up with some Russian dark broke period classical music so followed like, by some Sweeney Todd yeah and then I listened to Sweeney Todd that same day so I'm like all over the place with music I like musicals um which you know is not a thing 
Uh, what are some of the best places to buy and sell cloth diapers online? That's you. Um, so it's been a long time since I have sold cloth diapers online um, just because I've been not needing to sell them, not needing to buy them. I just use the Baby Center group, the cloth diapering. They have like a cloth diaper swap group that I have uh, bought and sold on before. And then, of course, if you're not looking for used, there's all kinds of places online. Uh, Cotton Babies, um, Nikki's Diapers, AlvaBaby.com is a great place because you can get like $5 diapers on there. Um, what are you pointing at? Kayleen Weaver asks, what is your go-to activity for a rainy day? Books. Books. I mean, frankly, in Arizona, those happen so incredibly rarely um, that... I mean, we run happen, outside and play in yeah, it. Yeah, we're like, it's raining! Oh my goodness! Like, we'll just stare out and just like, water's falling from the sky. We've only read about this in books. Oh man, we're over. Okay. Yeah, we're over. I knew that was going to happen because we talked for quite a while. Um, so, all that is to say, I'm really sorry that there's not going to be daily videos. Be sure you're subscribed to Heidi Kim TV and Heidi K Makeup if you want to see my face, at least, uh, show up during the next week. But we will be back, and I hope that you guys will be okay. We, we understand that it's rough when, you know, ever... We, you, we, and we know you get to see us on a regular basis, and anytime there's a pause, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, rough, it's a rough transition. <laughs> I think you're overestimating how important we are in these people's lives. <laughs> um, but we really, really appreciate you guys being understanding of that, and um, we will talk to you next week. Oh, that's weird to say. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.